living let's just jump straight into this video so as you guys can see from the title week three's weekly weigh-in I gained weight yes I did yes I did so in today's video if you care to know we're gonna talk a little bit about like some things that went well there's not a lot so honestly I think the second part of this video will be very beneficial for those of you that are currently on your weight loss journey health journey wellness journey to know that you're not alone sometimes I make mistakes too a lot of us do however that does not mean that I am throwing the entire program away just readjusting and getting right back all right, so let's talk about it. First of all, let's talk about the things that went well for me for week three. So last week, you guys know I weighed in at 218.2. Well, this week I'll insert it here. I weighed in at 222.4. Yes, so that is a gain of 4.2 pounds. But let's talk about like a few things that would, that happened. So last week, I will say something that went really, really well for me is that I am strength training again. Like I'm having such a good time with that. Just trying to put on, put on some muscle, lose some fat, basically like decrease my body fat percentage. Like that's really what I'm kind of like focusing on. And I really love the fact that I was able to strength train. I'm feeling stronger each day. And to be quite honest, even my husband's like starting to like poke around and like touching stuff. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so like that's been going really well. I just, I feel so proud of myself for sticking to the journey of strength training in the way that I want to. All right, so now let's talk about some things that did not go well. And I will be sharing my wellness planner with you because a couple things did not go well. I did not sleep enough. I did not drink enough water. And I reopened my window like twice. So we're gonna talk about that too. And I also did not get in mind, you guys know I try to average 10,000 steps a day. So for the course of the week, so for the course of the week, I got in, I should have gotten like 70,000 steps, but I only got 64,600, 561 steps. Do I believe that those 5,349 steps are what derailed my weight loss for last week? Heck no, but I do think that a couple other things, like I mentioned, as far as not getting enough sleep, water, and reopening my eating window, I definitely think that that pushed me over a little bit. So first, let's just look at a few quick things, a few quick workouts, a few things that went really well. So as you guys can see here, I got in multiple workouts last week. Like I was feeling really, really good. Like I was just so proud of myself, as I mentioned before, that I was able to get those workouts in. And now, all right, and now guys, I'm gonna flip it over so that we can look at my wellness planner and I can show you guys a couple things that went wrong. All right guys, so as you can see here in my planner, this is the 16th. So I started the week off at 218.2. I was doing quite well. So I started with 10,685 steps that day with an 18 hour, 37 minute fast. I felt like I was doing good. Like you can even see here, I did my workout. Um, and then like I even documented, you know, like what I ate and everything. But then, but then I actually went back in and I reopened my eating window. Like I was just so hungry like i just i i was hungry so i actually went back in and opened my eating window with salmon popcorn watermelon tater tots and pineapple like this is what i had before but then i reopened my eating window and i made a little note there um that i tried a four hour eating window that day i felt hungry and just a little note to myself that i may have to increase it to six hours but here i am again the following day Went in 16,846 steps, 13 hours, 28 minute fast. I actually ended my fast early this day. I did six miles. It was like the fastest six miles I had done up to that point. And I opened my eating window again. I actually had food here and I thought like this would be enough for, you know, within my two hour eating window, but it was not. I actually went back and reopened my window. This is what I ate. Um, ground beef, tomatoes, peppers, onions, watermelon, popcorn. And later that evening, I actually did my upper body workout. So I'm just trying to figure out like how much food I actually need with the lifting and also to not overeat. So I'm not perfect at this. I am just kind of like learning as I go. Um, you guys can see here, I did 6,652 steps, 17 hour fast. Look, this is where I'm sucking. Like last week, I really sucked with my sleep six and a half hours six five and a half 
four and a half, four hours, five hours, six, that is no bueno for me. Also, if I didn't check off that I did 80 ounces of water, that means I did not drink it. So I did not get all 80 ounces of water these days. Like that's just horrible. And then over here, you can also see where I broke my fast early again, Thursday, I'm sorry, Friday. And I also only did 1,709 steps. I will say this was a really busy work day for me. Um, but that's not an excuse. I mean, I'm just mentioning it, but I'm not using it as an excuse because girl, you got to do better. All right. And then over here, so I got back to my 16 hour fast here and then also a 19 hour fast there. Oh, also you guys, I also wanted to share that I bought this swimsuit for week three. It's actually too small for me, but I figured by the end of the year, I should be able to fit it quite nicely. I'll insert that video footage here. You guys, this is a size medium swimsuit i like squeeze into this thing squeeze oh my gosh hopefully i'll be able to get out but my goal is to be able to comfortably wear this by the end of the year it's been a long time since i've done the whole try to buy something and fit into it later but it's medium <laughs> Yeah, so as I mentioned, I don't typically do the whole like trying to fit into something, but I just figured this would be something fun to give me something to work my way into. Yeah, so you guys can see, I definitely have areas to improve upon this week, which I will be doing. I am focused on, like I am just one of those people, typically I do best whenever I'm able to just add one thing in at a time, but currently I've got a couple things going at the same time, like I'm trying to, Figure out my fasting window. Like for instance, I am curious, and I would love to know if any of you guys do intermittent fasting and also do strength training. I would love to know how long your eating window is because currently I'm just kind of debating if one meal a day is sufficient for me, like as far as trying to get in enough protein, as well as if I should probably go to two mad, which is two meals a day. Whatever I decide upon, you guys will be the first to know it because I will be sharing it here on the channel because this is truly a journey for me. Like I am willing to tweak things as much as I need to in order to get the desired outcomes that I want. My goal is to lose weight and like be super fit. So whatever that takes, I'm here and I'm willing to do it. Oh, I told you guys in the last video that I don't know what we're doing body shots in this year. I still don't know. So let me just go ahead and do a quick body shot. I don't even like this top, but we're doing it. So here I am. So honestly, I feel really good like for where I am. I feel good with the body that I am creating, but I just like to be I like to keep promises to myself. Now that I've started doing it, I really enjoy it. So I need to dial in on my food a little bit more. When I was not lifting weights, I was able to figure out my nutrition and figure out like what worked for me. So I know I have the ability to do it again now that I'm strength training. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, if you're having any struggles, please share them down in the comment section below. If you see someone in the comments that is struggling with something that you've perfected, or if you've perfected something that I've already, not perfected, but like you've kind of found something that works for you um, regarding the issues that I've shared today, I would love to hear that down in the comment section below. And then also, if you guys have any tips on sleep. I don't know, that's kind of new for me. It's been, I don't typically struggle with sleep. I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.